Here I'm going to explain to you the background setup of the password setup. If you're interested to see how this looks on the actual Android devices, then please check out my other video where I explain the complete front end of this. For now, we're just going to look at the setup of the app. I am using Android Studio to work on this app, so if you want to follow along, make sure to install the latest version of Android Studio as well. Sometimes there are issues if certain components are not completely updated. The All the code is available on GitHub. I'll make sure to link down, get a link down below so you can follow along with all the code. Once we have Android Studio loaded, we see the bus routes app on the left hand side in our project. We can just click on it and then find the most important documents. Well, first of all, we should go to App, then we go to Sources, Main, Java, and here we find one of the most important, which is Maps Activity Java. This is this file I already have open here. This explains all the functionality in the back end that's happening when we click things, when we load it up, when we start it. For this to be an app, it obviously needs to have an interface as well, and the most information about that are stored under Resources, Layout, Activity Maps, XML. This is an XML file just explaining what the app is looking like. So we've got a linear layout, and then on top here we have this little text explaining the user what to do. We've got another linear layout for the set on the right hand side, just consisting of the feedback button and the text you're saying here, yeah, feedback. But then the really important stuff is happening down here. This is a Google Maps fragment um, talking to the Maps activity, the Java file that we already spoke about two seconds ago. Um, and this is actually rendering the app in uh, the map in the app. So let's have a look at the Maps activity. First of all, we start with loads of imports over here. These are all the necessary um, modules we need to yeah, provide all the functionality we need. And Red Studio has a very neat feature where when, when you type something down here, it automatically recognizes what it needs, needs to import and that does these uh, automatically for you. So you make sure to turn this functionality on. When we go on here, we see a couple of definitions, but mainly we have uh, two major methods. We have on create and on maps ready. So we're first explaining what's happening when the app is started, and then once the map is completely loaded and ready, what's happening here. So let's have a closer look. Here we see uh, we're looking at a JSON uh, file. This is a file we can find under asset. Well, basically, this is where I stored it. It's called line2. If we look at the JSON file, we see this is a file provided by the London TFL, Transport for London API. Um, their API is really good. They provide all the information you could need there and provide all the information about bus stops and routes and even delay times and schedules and all that. But all we really need is one thing, uh, is like single route. So we've got the API and data of line two in this example. And then it details these are all the stops. And then if we look closer, we've got the station. And all these stations are classified or characterized with uh, longitude and latitude values. Here we go. So this is basically what we need to read. And then once we have these stops, we just need to put them in the right order so we can draw our polylines to display them on the map. So in the main activity, we're reading this, this document. And this is very closely working with the JSON reader. So there are a couple of intertwined methods, but this is just how this JSON reader works. It's not the most intuitive, but it's basically just opening an input stream to the file and then reading the important features out of it and storing them. So we can work with them later for drawing them. So here we see we, we first of all get this, then we load up the app, and then these are all support, supporting methods to find all the different stops and store them. Once this is done, we have 
this starts. And we can move on to getting the map ready. So this is just a little thing. This this is um, displaying a little toast, which is a short pop-up telling the user to have fun. And then we start with drawing the polylines. These lines in yeah in the Google Maps are called polylines, and they are just individually added with add polylines. And here we are going through. Um, the array of the bus stops and just adding them all together. And then I set a marker at the position of the last stop, calling it line 2 and giving it a nice color. Um, this is how the app will work in the future. This is basically the idea. But for now, I still have to add in individually all these JSON files. So I have not done this yet. London has over 600 bus routes, so this is quite tedious. So I need to find a way still for next step improvement to automate this process as well. Just for presentation purposes, though, this is I added two other lines before I managed to do this. This is how you could do this manually. So basically, this is looking at line one, different line. And you could just set this marker again, which is individual to up here, uh, which is identical to up here. But then this is how you would manually add a polyline. So you could add all these single longitude and latitude stops in here to draw the line, and then just yeah, add a marker at the end. And it's literally the same functionality, just that this is a lot smarter and a lot quicker, especially for data import. Also, this is not my, now my improvement because. Um, this way we get the stops from the JSON document and here we still have all the stops in the actual um, Java file, which is going to over time make it a lot slower to render. Right, but once we have all these lines drawn, we want to make sure that, because all these are in London, that the map is also showing London. So we set a marker to London and move the camera there. And with this zoom preference, we make sure we don't randomly display other things as well, but are concentrated on London. There you go. And this is just this is sending an intent to our email program that if somebody clicks the feedback button, um, an email is sent out that's triggered, yeah, on click of the button. These are basically the most important features. We've got a couple of other uh, things as well. Most notably um, our methods found in Josie Bus Rooted and models. We've got the bus route and the bus stop. This is just, and these are the classes to uh, um, make sure we get exactly the data from the uh, JSON document that we need, because otherwise we would have to randomly push this stuff together. It's bus stop and bus route looks like this and has a few more components. All right. So now we're all done with this, and you can now just import in, uh, plug in your device over USB, your Android device, and with this little button, run it to display it on your device. I hope that was informational, and then thank you very much. Bye.